Hello, Bay Broncos. It's me, Mrs. W, in my Bay Broncos mask. I'm alone in my office, so I can take this off for now, but I wanted to show it to you because I thought it was cool. I'm in my office for the first time since June. Um, it's so nice to be here, but a little sad knowing that we're not all going to be together, but the most important thing is that we're safe. So that makes me really happy. What I'm here today for is two things. One, grown-ups. An email is coming out today at 5 p.m. with just a little bit of information. Please, if you have questions, email me. I'm happy to answer any questions I know the answer to, but just know that not everything's been solidified yet. And I know it's frustrating as a parent myself. I don't have all of the information for my children who are going back to school, and I understand the frustration. But as soon as I know something concrete, I will share it with you. But I still wanted to write you a letter to let you know I'm thinking about you and that we are preparing for this new school year. It's going to look different than our other school years, but I'm excited. I'm really excited to see everyone's faces online. And I'm also really happy that we made the decision to distance learn to keep everybody safe. So I miss you all so much. And I have a book to read to you today. It's called On's Anger by Gail Silver, illustrated by Christian Cromer. On's anger. On's anger. On was in the living room building a tower, the tallest tower he'd ever built. His grandfather was in the kitchen making dinner. I see On and his grandfather. On, grandfather called out. Dinner is ready. On added a yellow block and smiled. The tower was almost as tall as he was. Now the red one, On whispered, placing a red block on the very top. Grandfather came in from the kitchen. What a wonderful tower. It's not done yet, On told him. Come sit down, Grandfather said. You can play more after we eat. He set the plates on the table and returned to On, who was balancing a green block on top of the red one. Put your blocks down now, said Grandfather. Dinner is getting cold. On wanted to keep playing. He opened his mouth to speak, but his bottom lip quivered and the words wouldn't come out. On's eyes filled with tears and he started to cry. Oh, I felt like this before. Have you felt like this before? Yeah. You're so sad and you cry and you can't talk. Grandfather tried to put his arm around On, but On pushed him away, knocking the tower over and sending the blocks flying. Go away! I hate you! On shouted. You're upset, said Grandfather. Please go to your room and sit with your anger. I'll come in when you're calm and able to talk. On ran to his room and leapt onto his bed. His cries grew strong, so strong he could feel them all the way down in his belly. How do I sit with my anger, he wondered. I'm so angry, angry, angry. Finally, said a voice. I was hoping you would notice me. On lifted his head and came face to face with a hairy red creature. I wonder who that is. Who are you, said On, and how did you get into my room? I'm your anger, said the creature. You brought me here. My anger? The anger nodded. Did Grandfather see you come in? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Don't worry, On. I'm not a stranger. I'm the part of you that comes out when things don't go your way. I'm right here every time you get angry. I know you feel scared when I'm around. I can make you cry and want to hit things. I can even make you say mean things to people you love. Aunt's anger started to turn the knob of the bedroom door. Come on, he said. I'll show you. Aunt was tempted. But Grandfather had said to stay in the room. Wait, Aunt called. Maybe we can do something in here. Aunt's anger turned and extended his hairy hand. I know just the thing, he said. I wonder if An's anger is going to make good choices or safe choices. An took his anger's hand and together they danced all around the room. They raised their hands overhead and spun wide circles. They used their breath to make sounds like a strong howling wind. They got down on their knees and pounded the ground with their hands. It sounded like they were playing drums on the earth and An liked it. Finally, they were exhausted and ready to be still. Anger had some really good ideas for how On could calm himself during this feeling. I misjudged Anger. On and his anger sat together silently.
They sat, they breathed in, they breathed out. And they sat some more. I don't like to say mean things to people, said On. Sometimes I can't help it. I can help you, said his anger. How can you help? I thought you were the one who was making me do these things in the first place. That's true, but I'm also your friend. Whenever you feel angry, you should come sit with me. After we spend some time together, you might feel better. Spending time with you is kind of fun, Han said. Do you want to stay for dinner? I think I'll be gone before dinner, said his anger. Are you sure? asked Han. We're having ice cream for dessert. An's anger smiled, and An smiled back. An was tired. He took a deep breath and let out a little sigh. And when he did, his anger became smaller. An and his anger continued to breathe together. Which e with each in-breath, An's anger got a little bit smaller. And with each out-breath, An felt a little better. An heard a gentle tapping on his bedroom door. It was Grandfather. Grandfather and An sat together. I'm sorry I didn't listen, said An. I was really angry. I wanted to keep playing. Grandfather took An in his arms. Thank you for your kind words, he said. I sat with my anger like you asked. An said, we didn't just sit. We danced and played too. Do you want to meet him? An looked up, but his anger was gone. Grandfather, said An. Do you know what happened? I think I do, said Grandfather. You took good care of your anger and it went away. That's right, said An. How did you know? When I was a little boy, I met with my anger, too. Really? Was it because of blocks? No, laughed Grandfather. There were no blocks, just frogs, a lily pond, and a sun that wouldn't set. Come, let's eat dinner, and I'll tell you a story. So there they are eating dinner together. Wow. This book makes me think about what I do when I'm angry to take care of myself. Like on, sometimes I take deep breaths. Sometimes I need to be by myself. What do you do when you get angry? It's important for us to be able to sit with our emotions and to understand anger is natural, but we need to be able to deal with it so that we can move through it and be happy again, like on. Thank you so much for listening to this story. I hope that you enjoyed it. Broncos, I miss you so much every single day, and I can't wait to see you online. And remember, today and every day, it's great to be a Bronco. Bye, my friends.